super concentration skills. We got a special group of brainiacs today, the stars of Nickelodeon. Yeah. You know what, guys? This is gonna be such a cool show. I'm popping the collar. Oh, yeah. That's right, I'm doing it. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> it's still gonna be a cool show, but let's meet today's brainiacs. Logan Henderson from Big Time Rush loves to snowboard. Let's hope he doesn't have to snowboard down the brain drain. Victoria Justice from Victorious snuck into the Kids' Choice Awards orange carpet when she was still an unknown preteen. Will she launch a sneak attack on Big Time Rush today? Steven Glickman from Big Time Rush has been playing the piano since he was two. But will his feet be flat in level three? Leon Thomas from Victorious used to collect sticks and use them to drum on everything in the house. Will he beat out the competition today? James Maslow from Big Time Rush likes to commandeer golf carts on the set and drive around the studio. So that's why there's a golf cart in my dressing room. And Daniela Monet from Victorious was nicknamed Chicken Head growing up. I wonder how she'll cock a doodle do on a level two. One of you guys is going to be today's brain search champion. That's going to look great on top of your resume. Oh, and yeah. be playing for a lucky eligible audience member who could win thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming from head to toe. However, for the rest of you, there is one way out of here, and I wish it was through the door, but it's not. It's down the brain. over to the Brain Center so we can get started. Level one. All right, this first level will test your ability to see things quickly. As always, I'm going to kick it off with a 10-point puzzle. Roll it. These girls are talking about a very important subject, boys. Pay close attention to the boys' description. OMG, that new guy is a total cutie. Which one? Not the brown-haired guy. No. Which of these boys were they describing? Let's see what the correct answer is. Victoria and Leon didn't get their answers in on time. Big time rush, jumping out to a big time lead. Look at right that, yeah. Go. All right, Victoria and Leon, shake it off right here. This one's worth 20 points. Check it out. Last week, four of my buddies took me skydiving. Pay close attention to the colors of our parachutes. Yeah! Which colored parachute has not landed yet? Time's up. If you think you got this one right, give me your best skydiving face into your camera. Oh, yeah! All right, everyone's in it for 20 points. Let's see what the correct answer is. Can the cast of Victorious redeem themselves? It was number two, and I see a lot of people jumping and a lot of high fives. Who got it right? That's the way I'm doing it. Yay! Here's a 30-point puzzle. Take a look. This pigeon is about to embark on a very disgusting mission. As he flies over the neighborhood, keep track of which houses he targets. In which pattern did the pigeon poop on the houses? <laughs> All right, let's see what the correct answer is. So lucky on that one. No. You know what I'm in the mood for, though? What's up? Tell us, Jeff. A scoring recap. Oh, oh really? Let's oh, do it. Snap. Leading the way, we have a four-way tie for first place with 60 points apiece. And those people are Steven, Logan, Daniela, and James. Woo! Victoria, you are very close behind with 50 points. 
And Leon, you were holding it down with 20. I know, I know. Okay, well, this is the place to make the stand right here because this puzzle's worth 50 points. Roll it! I took out the old time-traveling watch the other day and zapped myself back to the time of pirates. Buried treasure? I'm in luck. I think I'll ask this parrot for directions. Rah! Turn right at the pirate flag. Turn left at the anchor. Go over the bridge and look for the red X. Based on the parrot's directions, which X has the buried treasure? Time is up, okay. I know that one's a toughie. That's a toughie, but that's why it's worth 50 points. Well, let's see what the correct answer is. It's a little thing I call a replay. I see I took a left there, a right at the bridge, over the bridge. Kicked in the butt, and it was number two! Oh, somebody! Oh, there it is, Steven! The only one who got it right! James and Danielle didn't get their answers in on time. Brilliant! Oh, boy. This is a heated battle right here. I can feel it. I can feel it. And we are down to our last puzzle. After this, the four of you with the most points advance to the next level, and the other two are going down the brain drain. This puzzle right here is worth 100 points, and it is anybody's game. It's mine, Jeff. Here it comes. <laughs> My friend Betsy challenged me to a chin-up contest. <laughs> like she has a chance. Count how many chin-ups each of us does. <laughs> Betsy did 16 chin-ups, but how many did I do? Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, it was number four. Who's yeah. getting 100 points? Let's find out. Steven and Jane with 100 points. Look at Jane's answer right on time. It's time to find out which four of you are moving on to level two and which two are going down the brain drain. In first place, dropping the hand. Not missing a single puzzle from Big Time Rush is Steven. In second place with 160 points, also from Big Time Rush, James. In third place with 60 points, completing the Big Time Rush trilogy is Logan. Yeah. The moment of truth. There are three of you left and only one more spot to move on to the next level. Also with 60 points from Victorious is Daniela. Congratulations. <laughs> Victoria and Leon, you guys played a great game. Say goodbye to your friends. Head on over to the brain drain. I'll meet you there. All right, well, you know where I'm headed. Over to the brain. special episode because it's the stars of Nickelodeon competing. Congratulations to the four you brainiacs for making it to this level. I mean, we all know you, but how well do we actually know you? Oh. <laughs> Steven, you scored perfect in round one. <laughs> An impressive feat. Can you keep the streak alive and go perfect here? I will keep the streak alive. That's have my what word. we're talking about. All right. James, you're part of the Big Time Rush crew that's representing here today. That's there true. Go. Big that's Time Rush. Right. Very good. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Logan. Since here, I just got to ask you about this. You had to dress up like a girl for an episode. How'd Jeff, that work out? Jeff, I told you not to talk about that, okay? No, I just thought this was the form. No, 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 I didn't this a girl's episode. It was super fun, but I have my game face on right now. All right, man, that's what we're talking about. Daniela, a lot of pressure here. Not only are you the only girl, but you're the only victorious cast member left. Whoa. whoa. I am I'm completely aware of that, Jeff. Are you ready to rock it? I'm clicking my heels currently. I've been told in the past it's worked. All right, you about ready to give him a big time crush? Enough chit chat. Let's get to the gameplay. Level two. On this level, I'm going to tell you a story from my big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. On your feet, guys, it's story time. Now, you're going to want to pay close attention to everything you're about to hear and see. And remember, everything I'm about to tell you guys is 100% absolutely true. Last night, I fell asleep during the dumbest movie. It was about this girl named Courtney Gale and her dog Tutu. They get sucked down the brain drain and end up in a land with a much better color scheme. It turns out the place is crawling with little brainiacs. Hey, watch it. We represent the Brainiac Guild. They tell Courtney that to get home, she has to go see the Wizard of Brain Surge, who lives in the slime city at the end of the puzzle path. On her journey, Courtney meets a dumb bunny who needs glasses, a robot who needs AA batteries, and a chimp who needs a diaper change. She even gets captured by the wicked nitwit of the West. <laughs> I'm melting! I'm melting! Eventually, they arrive at the Slime City. Who dares disturb the great and ginormous wizard of brain sur- Ow! Oh! Pay no attention to the guy with the carrot up his nose. Oh. All right, what do you guys want? So Courtney's friends get their wishes. And the wizard sends Courtney home by running the entire movie in reverse. It smells. And everyone's happy, except Tutu. That's my story, guys, and it's all 100% true. All right, you guys know how to play the game. Steven, we're going to start with you. What was the first name of the girl in the story? Wow, does it look like the streak is going to stay alive? Oh, no. no. <laughs> Give me a name. Uh, two, oh, I got it. Have a seat and hang on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. James, same question to you. What was the first name of the girl in the story? That would be Courtney. Sit and hold. Uh, there it is. Logan, we're over to you. What did Courtney and her dog get sucked down in the beginning of the story? The brain drain. Sit and hold. You got oh. it. Daniela. Yes, Jeff? What did the bunny stick up his nose? A carrot. A carrot. Let's find out. Sit and hold. Ooh. You got it. Back to James. The chimp needed to have what changed? That'd be a diaper changed. A diaper changed. Sit and hold. Oh. All right. Logan, what character did Courtney have to go see in order to get home? The brain surgeon? The brain surgeon? Sit and hold. Oh, oh no, uh, hang on, buddy. There it goes. Oh! It was not the brain surgeon. It was actually the wizard of brain surge. All right, James Daniela, one of you is one step closer to being today's brain surge champion. Plus... I'd like to point out here, it's Big Time Rush against Victorious. Oh! I say we settle this right now with a knockout round. What do you say? Let's do it! Yeah. Let's do it! Knockout round. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you stay in the game. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to memorize the board, and it starts right now. James, we're going to start with you. What would be your first number? 13. 13. And 14. And 14. You got yourself a match. Danielle, over to you. 11. 11. 16. And 16. That's a match. James, pressure's back to you. I'm going to go with 4. 4. And I'm going to go with 7. And 7. I'm gonna go with the total guess. Oh gosh. I love Victorious, but here it goes. Five. Five. And twelve. 
and 12. Sudden death territory, okay. which means the next correct match is today's brain surge champion. James, pick wisely. What's your first number? Let's start with three. We're gonna start with three. He looks very confident. I'm gonna match that with, I don't know, let's double three and go with six. Six. And that's James, you have brain surge champion. Daniela, you play the girl game. But you know what has to happen? Have a seat and hang on. James, 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 you are today's Brain Surge champion. You are about to play the final stage of Brain Surge where you could win one lucky eligible audience member, thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming. How's that feel? I'll do my best. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. putting a big time hurt on the competition levels one and two. All right, it's time to find out which eligible lucky audience member you are going to be playing for. You guys ready? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. John's eighth grade. Do you think James is going to go the distance for you? Yes, I do. You are about to play the final stage where John could win thousands of dollars in prizes plus get a sliming from head to toe. Level three, the final stage. All right, guys, this level's got three parts. Each one's more difficult than the last. It's your job, not his. He collects the prizes. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and recreate it. We're going to start you off with this four by four. You're gonna stop the clock by stepping on that button right up there. You're gonna come back here. We're gonna do the five by five and then the six by six. Complete all three paths in 90 seconds. And here's what John could win. Complete the four by four and win a PV Viper guitar stage pack. The PV stage pack features the PDX 23 guitar, the Viper amplifier, and a wide assortment of accessories, including a learn to play DVD. Complete the five by five and win a Wii and EA video game. A Wii gaming system with EA video games. Play as a super spy in My Sims Agents and race with up to four players in My Sims Racing. Complete the 6x6 and win a Cedar Point Amusement Park getaway. You'll fly to Cleveland, Ohio for a four-night, five-day stay at the Hotel Breakers on Lake Erie along with admission to Cedar Point Amusement Park in Soak City with 17 roller coasters and over 150 rides. James, I, I did put that 90 seconds somewhere. Oh, it's right there. You think you could oh, hair flip that up? Oh, there it is. Huh? Gotta love the hair flip. All right, take a look. This is your first path. You'll see it one more time. All right, what do you think, John? You think he's got this? I think he got it. I think he's got it. All right, Let's clock starts when you make your first step, James. He's off. Has just won John a guitar and amp. Feels pretty good, huh? Nice. It does feel pretty good. And you didn't have to do anything but watch. All right. Let me play it once or twice. We'll be good. All right, here we go. Five by five. That only took six seconds. 
Take a look at the path. All right, a little bit more difficult, but very doable. Good luck. Clock starts when you make your first step. All right, John, cheer him on. Get him down low. Let's get him down low. Yeah. Maybe you'd like a Wii with some games. Well, you know what? You just got it, courtesy of this guy right here. All right. Six by six. You think he's got this? Yeah. yeah I mean, he's been pretty good so far, yeah? Yeah. He's been flawless. All right. Here it is. You're six by six. This is for the trip in the slime. All right. We'll see it one more time. All right. Here we go. Plenty of time left. He's up. 